Welcome to Make Something with me, David Picciuto, and today we are going to make a pair of trophies. At the end of the video, we'll talk about the techniques and materials used, as well as how I did in the race, and today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. So before I get into the details of the making of these trophies as well as the race results, I would like to tell you about today's sponsor and that is Squarespace. If you need a website and you want it to be easy and you want it to look beautiful, Squarespace is the place to go. They have templates that are professionally designed by professionals. Yes, professionally designed by professionals. For 10 years, I was a web developer. That's what I did to pay the bills. I know what it takes to make a website. I know how painful it can be. Squarespace makes it super easy to set up a website. If you're like me and you're a crafter or a woodworker or a maker and you wanna share those experiences with the world or even sell the products that you make, you can do that with Squarespace. If you wanna bring in all your social media feeds so you have one central place on the internet of all of your stuff, not a problem, Squarespace is the place to go. So visit squarespace.com and when you're ready to launch, visit squarespace.com slash make something for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Yes, you can also get domains through Squarespace. Most of the wood here is cherry and then it has some walnut accents. All of the acrylic was cut on the laser cutter. The outside here, that is supposed to be the gear, the sprocket. This is what we use and this is what we change depending on track size and track conditions. Um, we use gearing to try to get up to a certain RPM down the straightaway. Maybe we'll get into setup and all that later uh, in another video. I race in two different backyard go-kart leagues that race on eight different tracks throughout the Northwest Ohio area. Um, I love that it's 
backyard and it's kind of like this DIY grassroots thing. There are a bunch of professional tracks around here as well. And I do race them every once in a while, but not very often. They are a lot bigger. You need to spend a lot more money on your motor and it's more about money. The, these smaller tracks that I race on, there's a lot more passing. Uh, it's a lot more competitive and we get a lot more carts. So 25 to 30 carts show up at these backyard races. And when I go to the bigger professional tracks, we'll get like 10 carts to show up and racing against nine other people is not very fun. And these backyard races only have one division. So you're in and out in a few hours where the more professional tracks, they'll have like eight to 10 different divisions and it is a 12, 13 hour day and you spend most of your day waiting. The backyard stuff is just way more fun and way more enjoyable. Not everybody gets to make the, the A main, the feature race. You have to actually earn your way into the race. And on this particular day, I actually did not make the feature. Uh, we run, in this particular league, we run two heats. Um, and I didn't do so all on my heats. And then there's, so I didn't qualify for the feature. And then there's one last chance race called the B main. Um, and I missed making the feature by one spot. And on this particular day, it was a double points day where they ran two features and they inverted the lineup for the second feature. And that's why there are two trophies. They don't normally run two features in this particular league. Uh, it was just a, it was a special day you had a chance to gather up more points for the season championship. I was having some motor issues. Uh, for my setup, I tried to get my motor up to 7,600 RPMs. On this day, for whatever reason, my motor wouldn't go past 7,000. So there was uh, some motor issues. So I was, um, I was a little slow on the straightaways, especially going into the turns. Um, so that's where, that's where people were beating me. So I think it was a fuel pump issue I didn't know that at the time, and that would have been a quick, easy fix, but I thought it was something internal. I thought like a valve wasn't sealing, uh, or I wasn't getting the compression or, or something, but I'm learning, I'm learning. I'm building my own motors now, and so it, this whole thing is a learning process. And I'm building your own motors, that's also an entire learning process. And I might do a video on that sometime in the future, but uh, there's a lot of opinions, there's a lot of uh, um, ways to go, and uh, people have different approaches, and the motor thing is weird and complicated and super fun. I love, I actually love building my own motors just as much as I do racing. I will go into a little bit more detail on a typical race day. I think I'm going to shoot a vlog at one of the races coming up in July. So if you want to see more of that, hang tight for another month or so and we'll work on that video. So yeah, I didn't get a chance to win my own trophy. That's okay. Uh, me not making the feature gave me more time to <laughs> watch uh, the more competitive racers race and uh, to, to film. So uh, congrats to the two winners and uh, hopefully they enjoy the trophies. That is going to wrap it up. We'll see you next time with a brand new project. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and make something.